Well, this is day eight of this excessive heat that we've had here in Mississippi. Not only do people need to take precautions to stay safe, but we need to make sure that our pets are protected too. 12 News Anna Farish explains the dangers of keeping our pets out in the heat too long. Anna? If you think it's too hot outside right now, imagine being in a fur coat. We don't go out in the middle of the day and go running five miles at noon, so your dog can't do that either. As dog parents, we treat them like children. Walk them, feed them, and even talk to them. Come on. So why would you ever want to hurt them? Dr. Casey Faulkner is a veterinarian at Madison Ridgeland Animal Hospital. She says in the summer, heat stroke is one of the most common injuries to pets. So if you suspect your dog may have heat stroke, um, what you're going to see is you're going to see a lot of respiratory distress and panting. Um, you might see bright red gums or bright red tongue in the early stages. You know, if the heat stroke is further advanced, you may see pale gums. You can see disorientation in them. Um, you can even see vomiting and bloody diarrhea. Dr. Faulkner says if you see this, you need to get them to your vet right away. I do not recommend treating heat stroke at home, but you can um, run cool water if you're at home. You can run a cool hose over them before you bring them to cool them down real quick and then pop them in the car. Get the AC vents blowing really well, a portable fan on them while you're driving to the vet, cool towels while you're driving to the vet. Of course, some pets still need to go outside, but when you do, make sure to walk them on the grass or in the shade. And if you are going to be outside, it's important to bring things like a portable bowl and a water bottle so that your dog can stay hydrated. In Ridgeland, Anna Farish, 12 News.